Welcome to introductory lesson about the spine. In this lesson, we'll provide you with a brief introduction to the spine, its structure, and its importance in supporting our body and facilitating movement. The spine, also known as the vertebral column or backbone, is a complex structure made up of individual bones called vertebrae. It extends from the base of the skull down to the pelvis, providing structural support and protection to the spinal cord. The spine is divided into different regions. The cervical spine in the neck, the thoracic spine in the upper back, the lumbar spine in the lower back, the sacrum and the coccyx at the base. The spinal cord, which is protected by the vertebrae, is a bundle of nerves that transmits signals between the brain and the rest of the body, allowing for sensory and motor functions. Between each vertebra, there are intervertebral discs, which act as shock absorbers, providing cushioning and flexibility to the spine. These discs consist of a gel-like center called the nucleus pulposus, surrounded by a fibrous ring called the annulus fibrosus. There are various conditions that can affect the spine, including herniated discs, spinal stenosis, scoliosis, and degenerative disc disease. These conditions can cause pain, limited mobility, and other symptoms. Treatment options for spine conditions depend on the specific diagnosis and severity of the condition. They can range from conservative approaches such as physical therapy, medication, and lifestyle modifications to surgical interventions if necessary. Spine surgeries may involve procedures like laminectomy, disectomy, spinal fusion, or artificial disc replacement. These surgeries aim to alleviate pain, stabilize the spine, and improve overall function. In conclusion, the spine is a remarkable and intricate structure that plays a crucial role in our body's support, movement, and overall well-being. Its flexibility, strength, and ability to protect the spinal cord make it an essential part of our anatomy.